All right, let's take a look at some melody ideas for the melody groove. That rhymes. <laughs> um, so first of all, recap of the groove. as well. So the first idea is we can start to create a bass line um, taking some of those ghost notes and moving them onto melody notes. starting to add some melody again replacing ghost notes with tone fields um, so all I'm doing is keeping that bass line at the beginning of each uh, phrase but then I'm starting to move around while still keeping the core of the groove the accents of the groove exactly where they originally were so that it all ties together exactly the same I'm moving at the same time using the same ghost notes within the phrase um, but I'm just changing where those hands are landing so that the melody again shifts and moves and grows and moves up the scale to give it that dynamic to give it that sense of uh, yeah movement so that's option one replacing ghost notes uh, with tone fields and creating that sense of bass line up here melody up here we can also play around with chords same bass line here but I'm just building up from them. That's my first chord, second chord, third chord and then back here for the fourth. You'll notice as well that I'm stretching out my hand to keep the bass tone as well, to keep the center tone uh, playing throughout that so again we've still got that chord groove in there. hints of melody that we saw in the first version. You'll see as well at the end of the whole phrase there, I did a little run up and down the scale 
That's a really nice way of signifying the close of a phrase, moving on to a new idea. You can just move away from the groove just for a couple of bars and have a nice little melody roll, little fill, whatever it is, and then come back to it afterwards. Okay, so those are two ideas. The third one takes a little bit of um, prep to get to it. And so what we're gonna do with this idea is take just one hand to keep the groove going. We're eliminating all of the ghosts now, right? And we're just playing the accents with one hand. And what this is gonna do, oops, what this is gonna do is free up our other hand to add melody. But first we have to get really, really confident with having this one on autopilot. And we wanna be able to do it with both hands. So I recommend switching Next step is to keep a pulse at the same time with the other hand. See how my left hand, oops, I can't talk and play at the same time. See how my left hand is just keeping a steady pulse. One, two, three, four. And my right is playing be able to do it the other way around as well. And once you're confident with this, we're going to move that pulse onto the scale. this is going to give us the freedom to start to explore melody with that one hand, right? So let's see what that looks like if we move within chord shapes, switching hands to get those different harmonic feels. Oops. Right? Slow that down. Again, then we can start to add melody to it and change up um, the divisions of those beats so that we're giving it a little bit more interest. playing the beginning of those chord shapes that we were experimenting with and then again I'm adding just a little triangular melody shape here and then I'm shifting where I play that so we've got again those sensing uh, shifting harmonies shifting melodies <clears throat> I'll play that again for you slowly at the bottom.
So you can see how that's going to start to really open up um, possibilities for melodies. I don't just have to play the melody notes in the ghost notes in between the accents, but if I've got this going on autopilot with one hand, I can play at the same time as the accents, I can play in between, I can do so much with it, I can do some split hand stuff, whatever that is. Um, but those are just some really nice, easy uh, starting points to get you going. And I invite you to explore your own versions and ideas, um, and I look forward to hearing them. Um, but yeah, melody ideas for the melody. <laughs> melody for melody. <laughs>